hello world. How you beautiful people doing? It's me again. Me, me, me. <laughs> How you beautiful people doing? Good evening, sire. Good evening, Zazu. <laughs> Checking in with the evil report. Fire away. You know what? Forget streaming. I'm not streaming nothing. The heck with streaming. <laughs> I'm just going to do, do things just like it is, like I'm doing right now. But anyway, you PlayStation fans need to call Sony out. You really do. You PlayStation fans nearly need to call Sony out. You need to tell Sony Corporation to fix their hard drive situations with their PlayStation 2s, PlayStation 3s, and PlayStation 4 with the USB 3.0 hard drives. With your PlayStation 2, you should be able to at least put at least you should be at least you should be able to, you should be able at least put a one terabyte hard drive on the PlayStation 2. PlayStation 3. You should, be at, you should be able to put at least a 10 terabyte hard drive on it, USB. And on the PlayStation 4, you should be able to put at least an 18 or a 20 terabyte USB hard drive on it. You PlayStation fans need to call uh, call Sony out on this. Because I had made a video a couple weeks, about, about a couple days ago, about, about, the, about uh, console manufacturers putting limitations on hard drives when they shouldn't be doing that. And then today I saw this article saying if if your play PS5 is running out of space too quick, make sure you don't have a PS4 game installed twice. You see the hard drive on the Xbox One PS4s and on the Xbox Series X PS5. You see the hard drives that come inside those consoles? That's for the operating system. That ain't for games. Okay? That's for the operating system to collect updates for the system. That ain't for games. When you get those systems, you have to get an external hard drive. So, you play, PlayStation fans and Xbox fans need to call these console manufacturers out and put them on the spot. Be like, look, you guys need to stop putting limitation on hard drives on the consoles. We should be able to put whatever size we want, any size, especially USB 3.0. I mean, I know SAT as out. I mean, not SAT, but um. SSDs and SSDs is not up to like 15 or 20 terabytes yet, but with USB 3.0, you can go up to, you can go up to 20 you can go up to 20 terabyte hard drive. So you you Xbox fans, PlayStation fans, you need to call these console manufacturers out and say, look, stop putting limitations on these consoles when it comes to hard drives. We should be able to put any size hard drive we want, whether it's one or two. On these consoles, and I guarantee you'll get you get a response from. Them. Because when I saw this, I'm like, uh oh, because I, I had just made a video on it about a couple days ago, and now to see this coming to the light. So yeah, you guys really need to call them out on it. Let them know, like, look, we're getting tired of you putting limitation on these consoles when it comes to hard drives. We should be able to put any size hard drive we want to on these consoles, and and call them out and put them on the spot. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, when, when I saw this, I just laughed because I just did a video on it. <laughs> I just laughed. But yeah, man, um, these console manufacturers need to stop doing this. You know, put limitations, man. Especially on, um, especially on consoles, man. On PCs, on PCs, you can put as much on PCs when you get a when you get a motherboard. <laughs> Some of them come with like 10 USB ports or even more. And you, can, and you can fill all those USB ports with hard drives, whatever size you want. You know what I'm saying? So the same rule that applies to uh, uh, desktops needs to be needs to apply needs to apply to consoles. You know, if you got two USB ports on your consoles or three, you should be able to put whatever size hard drive you want in any one of those uh, USB ports, and and go from there. So these console manufacturers need to stop putting limitation on consoles. When it comes to hard drives, and, and it's been an issue since the uh, PlayStation 2, you know, because what is the point? What is the point of putting a USB port on the console if you can't put an external hard drive any size you want? What's the point? You know, so yeah, um, they need they need they need to stop doing this, man. And, and it's been an issue since PS2, you know, because the PlayStation 2 have got a the PlayStation 2 got a huge library of games. With PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1 because it's backwards compatible. 
So you should be able to put what? A one terabyte, two terabyte, three, four, five on the on the PlayStation to save your games based on the catalog of games you got. But these console manufacturers like, oh no. So us gamers, not just PlayStation fans, but also Xbox fans and Nintendo, Nintendo fans, you need to call these console manufacturers out. I'm putting on putting limitations on, on consoles when it comes to hard drives. No. Because when you when you buy when you buy today's consoles, like the Xbox One, PS4, that hard drive inside the console, that's for the OS. You know what I'm saying? That's for the OS and to collect updates and all that. That ain't for games. Okay? Never never get never think that hard drive inside the console is for games. It's not. It's for the OS. You need to get an external, so which means you should be able to put whatever size you want on your console. So the same rule that applies to desktop should apply to, to the consoles. And this is where you PlayStation, not just PlayStation fans, but Xbox, you need to call these console manufacturers out and put them on the spot. Call them out, okay? Because the Xbox One got a huge library of games. The PS4 got a huge library of games. And now you got the Xbox Series X and PS5. And with the amount of games that those consoles about to get in the next couple, in the, starting this year and the, and the years after that, yeah, need a bigger hard drive, man. So call these console manufacturers out. Put them on the spot. Be like, look, since you love taking our money from when, when, when we buy your consoles, how about let, letting us put whatever size hard drive we want externally on our consoles? USB or SSD. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. That's what you guys need to do, man. PlayStation and Xbox fans. <laughs> anyway, well, I'm sitting here chilling. Knocking it. Listening to some listening to some listening to some instrumentals. <laughs> anyway, man. Not, I'm gonna leave a link in the in the leave a link in the description box for this article, man. But listen to this, listen to this article though. If your PS5 is running out of space too quick, make sure you don't have PlayStation 4 games installed twice. What? So, so, so wait a minute. You're trying, you're trying to tell the gamers what to do with their consoles? Uh-uh. So anyway, listen to this. If your PS5 storage space is filling up too fast, then you expect. What do you mean? Then you expect. What are, you, what are you living under a rock or something? Don't you know that these games are big and huge? Anyway, then you expect, you may want to double check that you, you aren't doubling, doubling up on backwards compatible games, especially if you tend to start installing games straight from your mobile app. PS5 can play both its own games and PS4 backwards compatible, compatible games, which are treated as completely separate applications that each needs their full respective room to install. Yeah, which means you need to give the players the option to put whatever size hard drives they want, whether it's one or two, and stop, stop causing all these headaches. But anyway, it says here, as noted in a thread by the PS5 Reddit community, it's entirely possible that you, you will have both versions of a game which is available on both PS4 and PS5 installed at once. That's an assumption. That's an assumption. You guys need to stop living in denial, man. That, that's an assumption. These games are big, they're huge, and when you install them, you got expansions and updates to deal with. So stop putting limitations on hard drives when it comes to consoles. And, you, and, uh, and us gamers, not just PlayStation fans, but Xbox fans, and Nintendo fans need to call these console manufacturers out and put them on the spot. Like, you guys are billion dollar companies, man, making excuses. Why are you putting limitation on consoles? You need to stop this, period, okay? And one thing they should have done with the, um, with the Xbox Series X, PS5, is let you install, let you install an Xbox, Xbox Series X game on a USB 3.0 hard drive. So what if it don't load fast? So what? Big deal. At least you install the game so when the price of the SSDs come down, then you can go out there and get one. That's what they should have done. Let you have the option to install the game, whether USB 3.0 or SSD. That's what Sony and Microsoft should have done with the Xbox Series X and uh, PS5. 
So yeah, you gamers got a job to do. Call these console manufacturers out about putting limitations on the hard drive and putting a and, and putting a cap on the amount of space you can have. That that should never exist. You should be able to put whatever size hard drive you want on your Xbox Series X or PS5. Okay? Anyway, I'm going to leave a link in the description box again with this article so you guys can take a look at it. But nice talking to you people again. Humans. This is Chris. <laughs> Still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Or Dark Side. I'm gone. Peace.